From WRVC Rockford, this is This Winnebago Life. This Winnebago Life is recorded at Rock Valley Community College and distributed by Public Radio International. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Paul Hecker. Have you ever actually thought about where your food comes from? Most people will shove a burger in their face and not give a second thought to it. But for a small number of Americans, that sentiment has recently changed. Today we have a big, big story that gains its roots locally from a very small place. We send our producer, Kevin Seiler, to Seward, Illinois, to investigate. I started hearing about the local food movement from restaurants in the Rockford area, such as Mark's Fusion Cafe, Abreo, Social, and Hoban Anchor. While talking to these local businesses, I discovered that they are all jumping on the local food bandwagon by purchasing their meat from a local business called Eichmann's Processing. Eichmann's is located in Seward, Illinois, and has been there since 1953. For the past 59 years, this family-owned business has specialized in customized meat processing. Open to the public, this retail store offers local meats, cheeses, frozen produce, and seasonings. As the staff was wrapping things up for the day, I got a chance to sit down with the proprietor of Eichmann's, Tom Eichmann. We discussed the local food movement and why meat. It's delicious. Puts money in my pocket. There's a need for it out there, yet it's something that someone off the street doesn't want to all of a sudden show up and start doing. With the growing popularity of the local food movement, I was curious to know how it was impacting Tom and his business. Increased sales, definitely. More people are interested. They're looking for it. They want that local aspect. They want to connect back to what, what grandma and grandpa used to do. With all the buzz going on about buying local, I wondered who was out there buying up all this local food. Restaurants are going nuts over buying local. People are tired of the problems that the big guys tend to present. They're starting to figure out that maybe we should know where our food came from. Maybe we should take a look at this. It's not a bad idea to know the farmer it came from, but everyone's kind of just connecting. They want to know their food source a lot more. As Tom was discussing the issues the larger producers were having, I started to see the pros in buying local and how it can actually be just as safe or even safer. That three inch binder right there is nothing but test results. I take monthly listeria swabs for environmental. I do a monthly salmonella testing on beef carcasses. I do monthly E. coli swab testing on beef carcasses. I do finished product testing on ground beef. If the big guys are meeting all of the same safety standards that Tom has to meet, what makes their meat different? I caution you though, Walmart, you can add carbon monoxide to a modified atmosphere packaging and produce a cherry red color. That same cherry red color can maintain on that package for three to four days sitting on your kitchen counter. As Tom was sharpening knives, getting ready to slice into beef, I couldn't help but ask the question that everyone keeps asking people in the meat industry. What's up with McDonald's? Even though McDonald's has come out, you know, they say we do not use the finely textured lean beef. McDonald's actually came out with that a couple years back. That was found out that it was going into McDonald's and big media hoopla, and finally they said, oh no, we'll, we'll stop using that. With all the rumors going around the media about fast food and their beef, I asked Tom, what percentage of beef is a McDonald's hamburger? All of it. It's just cull cow beef. Cull cows, the cow has, has been bred multiple times usually. You're at the end of the useful life of the animal. Instead of just saying, okay, I'm gonna bury you out in the backyard, we're instead going to sell you to the slaughterhouse. So you're, it's not your, your high quality, it's not your best of the best. As my interview with Tom was wrapping up and I was seeing customers come in and out as he was getting ready to close the shop, I realized there's a benefit to buying local also. You get that local community and you realize that I might get better service if I spend a little bit more money buying local rather than going cheaper and going with the big guys. You can call ahead and say, give me a T-bone steak at an inch and a half thick. We can get it fresh cut for you and have it sitting here re waiting for you ready to go. After my interview with Tom, I couldn't wait to go into the community and find someone who actually bought local. While leaving Tom's store, I came across a man named Mark Snyder, and we got to talking about why he bought local and what the benefits for him are. You know, it's the first of the month, and I got my, my link charged up, and so I came out here to get pork and beef and other fine meat products. It's important to support local businesses and local farmers. If I go to Logley or Highlander, I don't know who I'm supporting then. It could, it could, that, that beef could be coming from China for all I know. I don't even know.
Kevin Seiler is a producer for our show. Tom Eichmann's shop can be found in Seward, Illinois, or on the web at www.eichmanns.com. Well, our program today was produced by Kevin Seiler and with me, Paul Hecker. Our senior producers are Jerry Labai and Brian Shelton. I'd like to extend a special thanks to Tom Eichmann and the entire staff of Eichmann's Processing, and Mark Snyder, who graciously spent his time to speak with us today. I'd also like to thank the website Sustainable Table for providing more information about the impact of eating local. If you'd like to learn more about the local food movement, visit www.sustainabletable.org. And finally, a special thanks goes out to all the pigs that own. Especially love for us today. This Winnebago Life is distributed by Public Radio International. Support for This Winnebago Life comes from Johnny Pamcakes, who, by the way, is way better than the Stockholm Inn. And, of course, the majority of our support comes from listeners just like you. So thank you. We couldn't do it without you. WRBC management oversight for our program today comes from our boss, Jerry Labai, who we are so proud of. Why, just the other day, he was telling me about how skeeved out he was by the thought of eating beef. Today, he had this to say. I can slice a beef open and crawl inside. Do a little Star Wars thing there. Poultry makes my stomach turn. The smell, the odor, the feel, mm, no, not a chance. Obviously, we still have some work to do with it. I'm Paul Hecker, back next week with more stories of this Winnebago life.